Hello, this is Buona from Buona.tv, and uh, today I want to talk about the new FriendFi site that was recently announced, recently as today, uh, over at beta.friendfeed.com. But before I dive into this, uh, I want to first tell you that I am very impressed with this site. I'm trying not to be very biased because um, this is something that I've been wanting for a while. But uh, I just want to give you guys an overview of what I think and some tips on some of the features. So, uh, with beta.friendfeed.com, um, there were some huge announcements that uh, were made about it. First, notably, if you go there, you're going to notice that things are just moving. Because the, one of the new features is a real, excuse me, a real-time interface. Now, FriendFeed had this in the past, but it was off on a link on the right side, and you would have to click real-time and then you would see real-time updates now the entire site not the entire site but the main features and the main portions of the site are now all real-time some people don't like this some people think it's a little bit weird and a little bit too much but I'm gonna try to teach you some techniques and some tips on how you can manage this to best uh, make use of it so if you look at the site now right now I'm looking at my home feed and uh, as you can see there's entries as normal and it's not moving that much right because my home feed doesn't have a whole lot of people in it because what I do is that I use lists in friend feed in order to manage all of the nonsense so my home feed doesn't have a whole lot of people on it but I'm following probably over a thousand people in friend feed now if you look over to the right you'll notice a whole new section here and this is one of the keys to doing this it's called filters these are all brand new, but I'm going to save that for later because i got a whole section dedicated to that. But let me show you my list. If I go over to A-listers and click on that, it'll show me some of the people who I consider to be A-listers, like Lewis Gray, Robert Scoble, Chris Perillo, all the people who are big-time names in the webosphere. And this one's not moving that fast either. So <laughs> these are generally slow lists. Now, I have some lists, like one called Everything, which has everybody that I'm following that will move you give it a couple seconds it will move and uh, people are posting comments to here they update in real time and as soon as I say that nobody wants to talk nobody wants to play with me but uh, if someone were to say something it would show up here in real time I guess everybody's going home from work or something but uh, if I were to go to an actual feed as well if I were to actually click on through one of these it would actually show in real time as well so without further ado you're gonna see somebody say see something just popped up just now um, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about the thing I I like most about this update and that is the filters filters allow you and now it's going crazy since I talk about filters filters will allow you to create searches that you can always come back to and these searches contain multiple criteria the best way to explain this is to look at the ones that I've already created there's one called all things Buona this is this is a vanity search so what I have up here is a search in the search bar I'm gonna click on this and it says entitled Buona or in comment Buona or and it has all this stuff in here you see it in this in that or entitled blah 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 and I got this from Mark Trapp on friend feed now what you can do to do this is go to filters. I'm going to show you how to create it real quick. Go to filters. Within this, you can create a filter by giving it a name, then telling it what entries you want to include from. Will it be all friend for users or just my friends and groups? Or check this out, a specific list. So these lists kind of come in handy when you use friend feed or specific friends or groups and then you have keyword quality filters such as contains the words has words in title words in the comment word has comments from or liked by and another feature I like is that it has at least so many comments or likes so with these filters you can filter out all of the stuff that nobody's referring to or nobody's talking about nobody's commenting on nobody's liking it's a great way to filter out stuff that most likely you don't want to see so let me go to this all things born and show you what it looks like now this one looks a little bit different than what you may create but it's a more advanced one because what it's doing is that it's taking the search field and putting it all in contains the words so I'm gonna create a new filter for you 
just so it'll be a little bit less confusing. And we're gonna call it, uh, let's see, let's search for flowers from all friend feed users, okay? And uh, I'm gonna have contain the word flower, singular. And I'm gonna have at least one comment and five likes. And I'm gonna save this filter. So now, here it is. Everything in this search entry has the word flower and it has at least one comment and five likes. Isn't that cool? Very simple to do, to do these filters. Now, currently these filters are not real time. And that's a bummer because if they were real time, it would be insanely powerful. But I found out tonight that there are, they are going to be real time in the future and they're working on it right now. So with that said, on how to create a filter, how they work in general, let me give you some key filters that I like. What over here is I have a bunch of hot filters, hot this, hot that, because these are, these are flaming topics. And uh, let me go to hot comments. Hot comments, what it will do, and what I'm doing is that I'm utilizing FriendFeed's aggregation ability. And with this aggregation ability, I can look at various services that it's aggregating. In terms of comments, it supports three, intense debate, discuss, and back type. So up in my search box here, I have service, intense debate, as you can see here, or service, back type, or service, discus. So any one of those services with a comment, I want to be in this filter. And then I have at least one comment and five likes. So all of these entries that are coming from these commenting systems they're instantly filtered to the most talked about and most liked ones. Simple. Now that's kind of boring, right? Some people may not want to see comments. Let's look at photos. Hot photos. Same type of deal. Same type of deal, except all I'm doing is I'm changing the services. Service, Smug Mug, Flickr, or Flickr, or Zoomer, or Picasa, with comments five and likes one. It's the same type of deal. This is the formula that you can use to build very powerful filters. You can filter by service and you can whittle them down by comments or likes. So now I got the best photos on friend feed as of now. These are the ones that have the most likes and the most comments right here. Now say you're into someone like, oh, look at Mr. Thomas Hawk. He's known for, for, for finding great photos. What I've done is I've created a filter for him called Thomas, Thomas Hawk's photo. It has all those services from friend feed that support um, photos. But then I say in this box down here, liked by Thomas Hawk. So I don't have anything about comments. I don't have anything. Well, actually, I think I do have some stuff about comments and likes at the end of the search bar here. No, I don't. Anything that Thomas Hawk has liked, if it's a photo, I can see it in this filter. You can't do this anywhere else. <laughs> this is great stuff. I can filter down to what I can do Robert Scoble's favorite links. I can do Lewis Gray's favorite blog posts. All of that combined with the services, the number of comments and likes, and who's doing it. Again, hot movies. I'm filtering Netflix, Netflix cues that have comments and likes. So these are movies that people dig. Music, same type of deal. All of these are filters that I can see instantly once I create it. And I'm telling you, once it becomes real time, it's going to be very valuable. And uh, I have hot discussions all. What this will do is that will go through all of friend feed and look for, and you can see it top of the top bar here, it will look for all comments over 50 and likes over 10. So any, any topic that has more than 50 comments or more than 10 likes, I can see them instantly by clicking on this filter so to me this whole beta dot friend feed thing you know the, the real-time stuff is cool it can be overwhelming if you if if you got too many people that you're following or whatever list or whatever you're watching it's got a lot of active people uh, it can be overwhelming but I think the value in this update are these filters because once they they become real-time you're gonna have a tracking system like you have not seen before this is gonna be better than track on Twitter once they add real time to filtering. That's the way I see it. So going back to my everything feed, I can comment on things right in line. 
Um, like here's <laughs> something about an old Flash Gordon poster. I'll just put, I used to watch this movie every week and I did. As you can see, a new comment popped up as I was typing that. So this is an active feed. People are talking about this stuff right now. This is truly real-time web. This is, I don't know if this is the real-time web, but this is a real-time website. And it's very, very cool stuff. So uh, some more features that FriendFeed beta supports is direct messages. Now you can send messages to a singular person. Or what's very cool is that now you can cross-post messages to your main feed and also to maybe a friend feed room I'll demonstrate um, I'm gonna go to the main page here and when I click on the post box you see up here it says to and it says my feed by default so what I can do is I can add and edit this let's see and I can add it to the sports talk 2.0 room which we talk a lot about sports I can talk about basketball and let's see, I think I joined the NCAA. No, I didn't join the tourney. And I'm going to say, I hope Michigan State wins tonight. I'm a believer. And that's a her face. I can't spell believer, can I? Yeah, whatever. And you can see you can also CC Twitter by default, but I'm not going to do that because I don't like to cross post too much between Twitter and friend feed. So when I post this, it's now going to my feed. Is now going to the Sports Talk 2.0 room on FriendFeed, and it's going to the basketball room on FriendFeed. I don't have to reshare multiple places now. I can do it in one spot, and it'll go to all those places. Very, very cool stuff. And direct messages works very similarly. Um, <laughs> got a direct message from Jared Blaze. He says, hey, Borna. I'll comment back to him. Hey, Jeff. How's it going? <laughs> and I can like and comment on these direct messages but to direct message somebody I just put in their name like Jeff uh, Jeffrey I forgot he spelled his name with that and I can say this is a direct message using the friend feed beta interface and then I'll post this and I'll say sorry man was doing a demo and stuff. <laughs> so very, very cool, right? So, and you, wow, did you see that? It, he just gave me a, a update. He's probably gonna comment on this one too. And you can see it update in real time in your direct messages. This real time stuff is cool, people. I'm telling you, if you manage these feeds correctly, if you don't follow too many people, this real time stuff works very well and I understand a lot of people don't want to do this there it is it's all good a lot, I understand a lot of people don't want to to put the required effort in to do lists because it can be time-consuming the, the, the interface to create lists can be better and I think friend feed really needs to work on that in order to get people more in tune to the real-time stuff because I don't think the, the list interface is intuitive as it can be I can use it but I, I've used terrible software a lot so um, I can I can deal with a lot of stuff. I have a high tolerance. So, what I want to show you now is one final thing. Direct messages. Oh yes, keyboard shortcuts. Keyboard shortcuts are now available in this particular beta. It's uh, very basic stuff. Like right now, I'm on the page, and if I hit P, it'll put focus in the text box. You see that? Very simple stuff. If I go to the home page and I'm way down here at the bottom scrolling scrolling now when i want to type something i hit p and it takes me all the way back to the top that's the one i think is the most useful and there's capital p p and also you can do the forward slash in order to go to the search box so if i put the cursor here and then i hit forward slash check it out watch the cursor move boom and it didn't move because the cursor was in there i'm so smart and <laughs> put the cursor up there so keyboard shortcuts are coming uh, one of the ones I can think of that should be there is spacebar to pause the live feed. Because right now, if you go to the main page, there's a tiny pause button. Tiny, tiny pause button at the top that people are going to miss. If I, I'm i going to go to Robert Scoble's stream. Wow. This one's going to go. And you'll, I'm, gonna, I'm going to, um, I'm going to put, 
I'm going to demonstrate the pause button here. So once this thing gets going, it's going to start scrolling in a waterfall fashion. And unfortunately, I can't pause his friends. But uh, Robert's got a lot of friends. And uh, as you can see, there is never a dull moment if you follow his friends stream. I mean, literally, it's probably one to two posts per second of people posting things about every Thing. he follows everybody now if you go to mine I'll change it to mine uh, it's a little jumpy too but not as as bad as Scoble's Scoble follows a lot of people and uh, I really think they should put a pause button here but the only place I can see the pause button now is on the main page so this is uh, a quick walkthrough of the beta like I said the filters are hot and you can see I got Leo Laporte's likes I got Lewis Gray's likes those are very simple Everything that Leo Laporte likes, I can do a filter for that, and I'll edit that. These are very easy to do, by the way. All you have to do is say liked by and whoever the user is, and then put a criteria on it. So in this case, I want to look through all friend feed users and everything that Leo Laporte liked in those friend feed users that has at least 10 comments and 25 likes. So these are pretty popular posts. So this is how you get to the gold. Man, this is if you're new to friend feed, start here start with filters get to the gold and join into joining these hot discussions that are already going and uh you'll get your feet wet very quickly and you'll understand some of the power of friend feed all right that's all i have for the beta i'll talk a little bit more more about this in the future as i learn new features this is one from one tv i hope you enjoyed this tour of the beta friend feed and also some tips on filters